Okay. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, everyone. Oh my God, I hope that I won't have to blow my nose. <laughs> I would touch a cold. <laughs> hello, Kathleen. Hello, Sabina. Or should I say Alvira? What do you like most? Hello, Jane. Hello, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. Oh, and my nose is already starting to tickle. <laughs> oh my God. You'll see, I'm going to have to blow my nose. Hello, Wendy. <laughs> Oh, dear cold, go away, go bother someone someone else. Hello, Jane. We have two different Janes. Hello, Alva. Hello, Helen. Hello, Vix. <laughs> How good to see you all. Wow. Hello, Dee. This is so fun that everyone's already here. It's like, whoo, party all over. <laughs> Hello, violet blue. Welcome, welcome. Let's let's. Oh, uh, it's not cold. I'm cold. I'm like hello, Zonet. It's it's. I came back with a cold from hell. Actually, from King's Cross, but <laughs> does it feel the same in my face? Hello, Linda. Uh, it's just a cold. I'm happy that it's just a cold. I don't have a sore throat or I don't feel sick. It's just that I'm always cold and that my nose is always running. <laughs> Hello, Sharon. Hello, lovely. Hello, Angie. Wow, wow, wow. Everyone's so early today. That is so cool. Thank you, everyone. It does make me happy. So I got back from the UK after the shows and I didn't have time to rest. The first batch of orders left the house today and trust me, it was a big batch. Hello, Danielle. The second one, so if you haven't received a tracking number today, don't panic. You will see, will receive one tomorrow or on Monday and your package will leave for the post office on Tuesday morning. Um, Hello, Linda. It was 17 when I left. Uh, how much is that in degree? That, that sounds cold, 17. That that sounds like really, really cold. Germs from the UK. I should have left those over there. <laughs> Don't leave those here. <laughs> well, I was actually sitting in King's Cross and it took me a moment to realize that I was sitting in a draft too late. The harm was done but that gave me a good excuse to stay longer in the harry potter store because it was warm in there <laughs> hello marianne how good that you're here so early with us so yes of course i had to go to the harry potter store and this time i got myself this one i use a lot of these um i use a lot of these drinking thingies um, and I promised myself uh, it would be the last one that I would get in plastic. Next time I'll get myself one in either metal or aluminium or whatever is less eco-unfriendly as this plastic thing. Last plastic one. Hello, Linda Bloom. Hello, Rose. Uh, it must be so nice now in Florida. Okay, not jealous. Not jealous at all. <laughs> well, we actually had the sun here today, so it's cold, but it's... Uh... Yeah, tell me about it, Jane. King's Cross is drafty. It should have stayed in St. Pancras. Oh, but I did a lot of shopping, so I did go to both the stations. <laughs> I did a lot of walking around. Um, hello, Carla. Well, I do miss the UK. I had a great time over there. I have to say that um, um, spending time with Leslie, it was, it was nice. It was really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, makes my heart sing. Okay, well, 
I'm not gonna sing for you. I'm gonna give you a new challenge. How about that? I think that's better. <laughs> Hello, Karen. Oh, laying some flooring. Okay, I'm not jealous. Nope, we're <laughs> not very happy with the flooring that we have here. Ah, oh, thank you, Rose. Thank you. So we have a new code name, which is Gluegate. <laughs> For those who saw the shows, you know what I'm talking about. What the hell was that, universe? I don't know what you were trying to tell me there, but yeah, glue gate. So I have two of these glue thingy stickies on my table and I thought I'm not going to take my um, regular little bottle uh, because I wanted to make sure that I had something that was full, that was ready to go and oh, guess again. <laughs> I have two of those and instead of taking the one that I'm sure that works accidentally I grabbed the other one and that's what I had to do the shows with ah yeah glue gate there we go we have glue gate <laughs> well for the first show okay it was an accident I can understand but then the second show I was like really seriously and then there's people on on, on, in the studio with you you're not standing there by yourself obviously and they were all like they were so stunned like really she's doing it again that no one just moved to grab me some glue <laughs> well Joe said that I should not be looking like all panicky to the side where Leslie was standing like get me some glue help get me some glue <laughs> but hey it was fun I mean we can we can all laugh about it so blue gate here we go okay I say let's get started what do you think are we ready to go we're six minutes in seven minutes in I think we're ready to go hello my lovely butterflies welcome to this new <laughs> layer a day challenge I was going to say journal on Monday video that's how good I am in my head no this is a new a layer a day challenge but before we dive in, you know that I have to give some shout outs. And today, my first shout out goes to Linda Barney. Linda, I know you had a very rough week, uh, we all know, within the group. And I wanted to acknowledge the fact that you kept on going with the challenge, that you actually used the challenge to get over all those emotions that came in. Um, and that you pushed through and took it all the way to the end. So Linda, I really wanted to give you a thumbs up and a big bear hug because I think you could do it one, not only from me, from, but from all the butterflies. The second shout out goes to Zanet, Zanet van Heerden. I wanted to say a special welcome to you. You just joined the group and then you dived in with your first spread and that made me super, super happy. So welcome to the challenge and I hope you keep on going. We are on week 45 of this year's A Layer A Day Challenge. This one will run from November 9th until November 16th. This month, it's all about happiness. Last week, we took a step back to have a bit of an observation. And I did keep in mind what you all said last week, like happiness is not something that you can quantify. And this is actually a very good introduction to this week's challenge. So thank you for giving me that little bridge, everyone truly appreciate um, emotions unfortunately are very abstract it is something that is very often unclear a lot of gray zones um, and it's very hard to know in which emotion someone else is when you see someone cry you never know whether it's happy tears or sad tears uh, unless you know what's going on with that person that when you have been talking with that person but when you just see that person it's very hard to know what's going on in that person there is one emotion however which is very clear even if you don't know that person and you see that person in that state you know what's going on and that's anger now you're going to say what is anger what does anger has anything to do with this mom challenge wait Give me a minute to get there. So, anger. Unfortunately, anger is our worst enemy when it comes to happiness. And anger can also be something that is very hard to snap out of. Um, there is this thing called anger issues. Things that we 
ones we're angry about and that we keep on carrying with us and that can always be like that black cloud hanging over our happiness. So we need to do something about that. We need to address those issues and we need to do something with them. So I thought, I came across this thing and I thought, that's it. That's what we're going to do. So this week, it's going to be about bubbles. Just admit that you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> when I talked about anger, you didn't see bubbles coming. Please, please tell me you didn't see bubbles coming. Please don't burst my bubble here. You didn't see bubbles coming. Now, why bubbles? She was talking about anger and now she's talking... Because, and that is what I came across, there is no angry way to say bubbles. I tried. You try. Right? You cannot, you, there is no angry way to say bubbles. But I thought, what if this week we just faced our anger, looked it straight in the eyes and just said, hey, you, bubbles. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> that is what we're going to do this week. We are going to try to preserve our happiness by saying bubbles to whatever makes us unhappy and to whatever makes us angry. Okay, Danielle says that I just wanted you to do something with circles. Well, Danielle, actually, I don't. That's why I have four ways for you to work around bubbles. I came prepared. I knew that one would come to me. I came prepared. <laughs> okay, I can see in the comments that you've been trying to say bubbles in an angry way. <laughs> I'm happy to make you laugh. <laughs> so, the first way, obviously, is that you can work with the shape of bubbles. Duh. I mean, as my friend Snape would say, obviously. But, you could also work around bubbles by thinking of the texture. You know, the foamy, bath foam kind of bubble things and work around that and work around that softy, light, bubbly texture. You could go with text bubbles. Those are actually text balloons, I know. Indulge me. We can go with that too. Um, we can go with the color. Which color does bubbles make you think of? When I think of bubbles, I'm sorry, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the bathtub. <laughs> Maybe I should take a bath with lots of foam. I'm stuck with that foamy feeling, lightness, those white grayish bubbles where you can sometimes have like this, this um, light reflection in there. You can go with that. You can go with those colors. And then last one, you can go with the movement that bubbles make you think of. Um, again, bath foam, you know, those bubbles, they move slowly like in a, um, yeah, in a floaty kind of way. So there you go, bubbles. Now, Linda is asking, can we attach bubbles to annoying people and float them away? Exactly, if that is what you want to do, Use an image of a person for you that will be that person. Draw some bubbles around it and see that person float away. If that helps you preserve your happiness, by all means, do just that in your art journal. There we go. So this week, it's all about bubbles. And from what I can see in the comments, we're going to have fun. I actually, I cannot wait to see your layers of anger where you Burst that anger with bubbles, but don't burst the bubble. They actually are very beautiful and they can be very colorful when you look at them up close. So there we go. That's all I have for you today. Bubbles, go, off you go. Switch down your computer, your phone, your whatever it is you're holding and go put down some bubbles. But don't forget, we are thinking of bubbles to preserve our happiness. That is what it's all about. And that is what we're going to put in our journal this week. That's it. So for those who missed the beginning, um, I am very super duper busy getting all the orders out the door. Today, the first 
batch left. <laughs> it, was, it was a big batch. They know me at the post office. They didn't see that one coming. So um, the first batch left today. Don't worry if you didn't get your trekking coat just yet. You will get it either tomorrow or on Monday. And then your stuff will leave for the post office on Tuesday morning because Monday is a holiday here in Belgium. So there's no point in going to the post office on Monday because it will be closed anyway. Um, other than that, I wanted to say thank you for your enthusiasm about the new collection and the shows. Really, <laughs> You really, thank you. You really, really, really made my heart sing. And if you're one of my patrons, if you're one of my 15 plus patrons, we will have a hangout tomorrow. I know you're still waiting for uh, this, man this month's calendar. I'm working on it. It will go live tomorrow, but tomorrow evening, well, my evening, 8 p.m. Central European time, I will go on live for the 15 plus patrons so that we can finally catch up and have some time together here. Huh. If you're not one of my patrons, you can still become one and you can still join us for tomorrow evening. Okay, let's catch up on comments before I put an end to this, um, to this, um, live you don't want to see my face right now Kathleen actually I do take a photo and send it to me in private message please <laughs> Jane is saying every time someone upsets me I shall tell them bubbles <laughs> actually I think a lot of us are going to use that from now on me included um, it's a learning curve for everyone me included so <laughs> hello wonder when from Ireland welcome I've been struggling with inspiration this week and now I have plenty. Angie, that is what this challenge is all about. And if you haven't joined the um, A Layer A Day challenge group yet, there's so many inspiration to grab from there. I'm sure that all the butterflies will like. There will be a bubble plethora of inspiration over there. How do I make an order from what kind of payment do you accept? Okay, I accept PayPal and Stripe. Stripe is all kind of credit card things if I'm not mistaken um, Linda and when you place your order before confirming your order you will know how much the shipping cost is shipping always includes tracking which means that you're always always secure to receive your package no matter where it is you live in the world I ship oh my god I have shipped all over from India to the States to to Belgium I actually have an envelope here. I'm not going to show it because the address is on there for someone who lives around the corner. So she doesn't know, but tomorrow I'm going to drop it in her, in her, in her, in her mailbox. Oh my God, <laughs> I had a glitch in my, in my head, in her mailbox. Um, and of course I will reimburse her shipping costs, but she lives around the corner here and she placed an order. <laughs> okay, Jane, does that, does that answer, uh, Linda, sorry. Does that answer your question about uh, placing an order? If not, just send me, pop me a little message and I will reply. Um, Linda Bloom says, this is perfect. I still haven't finished my spread from last week because live got in the way. I will finish both. Well, Linda, about live getting in the, in the way, I haven't sit at my creative desk over there for over a week now. No, exactly a week now. And I seriously miss it. Tomorrow, that's the first thing that I will do. It's to sit over there first, get some creativity out there and then huh, hmm. and then start packing orders again um vix ask is it possible to do a one-time patreon contribution yes you can you just become a patron you do your one month thing and then at the end of the month you just unsubscribe and then it will put an end you can unsubscribe at any moment and i do have um this one patron uh when she knows that something is coming up that is interesting to her, well, she becomes a patron and then she just walks away again and then she comes back and she has done that like, I don't know how many times the previous year. You know who you are. Thank you for doing that. I truly appreciate. Got to rewatch, had low internet back again, but okay, Bubbles says Sabi. Oh, I'm sorry, Elvira. You will have to watch it all over again. Um. That's it. I'm going to put an end to this live and go prep dinner because this still needs to be done over here. <laughs> Thank you so much again, everyone, for joining me again today.
seriously, you butterflies, you rock. You are the best community out there ever. I feel blessed. I feel truly, truly blessed. So thank you for joining me again today. I'll see you back here next Saturday for the live. I'll see you on the Facebook group for the daily layers. I will see you on the Patreon page for those who are my patrons and on the Patreon Facebook group for those who are on there. <laughs> and someone is giving me a waves, a bubbly goodbye. Well, bubbly goodbye to you too. <laughs> You're welcome, Vix. You're truly welcome. Thank you for the compliment. Don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses.